Hey y'all, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to create a video using products that I do not normally use. And I can say the look turned out kind of good. Um, the eye look looks great. But some of the products, I realize why I do not like them and why I don't use them on a regular basis. So, um... I tried to still, you know, make it work, but if you want to see how I created this look using products that I don't necessarily like, then just keep on watching. The first product that I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Concealer in the color 3.75. Now, I purchased this concealer because I was like, okay, this stuff look like it's going to have the best coverage ever it does have great coverage but it is thick as hell okay it is so thick i would not put this like up under my eyes or like on my face because of how thick it is but it makes a great eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base um because of how um thick it is so i'm just patting this on my eyelid so yeah as you can see it has great coverage um so yeah I would not recommend you use this as like a concealer up under your eyes or you know to highlight certain areas of your face with because of how thick it is and it's thick and it also gets like tacky so today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty warm obsessions palette i've had this palette for a long time now maybe like a month i do love these eyeshadows they're very pigmented easy to blend um so yeah i like them the warm obsessions palette it is so so cute i'm taking my morphe m441 brush and i'm gonna use this color right here I'm going to place this in my crease and a little bit above my crease, but I'm just going to first like I place the color down and then I blend using soft circular motion. And now I'm going to take my Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I kind of just got this product a few weeks ago. Um, I did try a look with this, but I ended up not liking it, so I didn't post it. Yeah, but I, I'm using this product only for one color because the the Huda palette doesn't come with like a bright orange. It comes with this like burnt orange, almost being almost like on the verge of being brown. And I want something a little bit brighter than this because I don't want the outer edges to look super dark. I'm gonna use the Morphe E32. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of this color right here just because like I feel like I lost it a little bit take the little Anastasia brush that comes with all of her palettes I'm going to take this uh, shade here it's like a cream shade it's not white it's more cream. And I'm just going to place this on my brow bone a little bit. Now taking my Morphe M44, M433 brush, M433. I'm going to take the brown shade right here. And I'm going to start building that on my outer corner and inside my crease. I'm 
All right, now I'm going to take my Morphe G17 brush and I'm going to take this, the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to start building that on my outer corner. The M441 brush again that had that very first shadow on it and still making sure everything is nice and blended. There's no harsh lines. Now to cut my crease, just going in with that same Anastasia concealer. This is a BH Cosmetics 102 brush. I like to use this to cut my crease. And this right here really does not have to be perfect because I'm going to go in with all of these other shades and you won't really able really be able to tell like if the shape is perfect or not. So this does not have to be perfect. Going in with my Huda palette again, I'm going to take a e.l.f. Um, just like an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take this cream color right here. And this is going to go on the inner portion of my eye. I'm going to take my G Morphe G18 brush and I'm going to take that orange shade out of the BH Cosmetics palette. Going in with a little bit more of the um, cream shade. And making sure everything is blue. And I'm going to take that same brush, um, the M441 brush, and take this shade here. my M433 brush taking that brown shade and just placing that on the outer edge now I'm going to take my G19 brush taking that brown shade again and just defining the crease to take this NYX glitter and just put it one of my crease I always do my right side better than the left side. I mean, I know why. It's because I'm right-handed and not, you know, left-handed. So my right side always turn out better than my left. Now, this is the scariest part of the video, like the face products.
So, I guess we'll start off with the primer that I have never used. So, I have this Milani, um, Milani Prime Light face primer and I purchased this to do client makeup but I have not used it yet so I'm going to use it myself for the first time and see how I'm liking it. It doesn't feel very hydrating, but it doesn't feel like dry. My face, let me see. I'm gonna take some more like on my fingertips, just a little bit. It's not filling my pores in at all. But hey, it's a pretty decent primer, you know, to be drugstore, so yeah. It's a pretty decent primer. These Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. And I have not used this. I like looked at this color right here for the color corrector. And I was like, this is too, it's too peachy. Like, I don't know. And then like, I don't like the consistency of these. Like they are so hard. I'm just scared to put it on my face. So yeah, I'm just gonna use my finger with it because it'll kind of help it melt into my skin because it's so hard. And see, it's so ashy on me. It's not, it's not like, warm enough um this is the cream contour kit in medium I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I purchased this like months ago. I used it a few times and um, I actually tried this out. Sephora, I got matched. I, like she tried this out on me and everything and I fell in love with it. And I thought it would be my favorite foundation, but it is not. Um, I'm in the color Medium 65 Warm. I can't remember like why I stopped using this. So I'm gonna find out today. God, it's thick. It's thick as, it's thick. Mm, I already can tell I'm not gonna like this. So, because I don't really have concealers that I don't use, I'm just going to use this Black Opal Even True Concealer in the color Honey. I've tried this concealer once in this color, and I didn't like it for up under my eyes. I can't remember why. I think maybe it was like coverage issues or something. It's not light enough take a little bit of this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain and just mix that with this. I haven't used these like as concealers as well. This color is super white so I'm only going to use a little bit. Please go right. Please go right for my God.
looks all right, but yeah, not something I would use on a, a day to day basis. For powder, setting powder, I'm going to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Um, the reason that I stopped using this and why I didn't like it is that I saw that it was, um, it was making my under eye like turn yellow. It was like taking the highlight away. Well, one thing I can say about this foundation is it's not creasing around my mouth or on my forehead yet. And I can truly appreciate that. The Fenty Beauty um, Matte Stick, and this is in the color Truffle. Um, I like, I just have mixed feelings about this only because. Um, the color is fine. The color is fine. It's just blending it that's a little bit hard. Use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in light medium. And I'm going to use this shade right here as bronzer. My under eye is creasing like crazy. So I'm going to bronze my nose right quick. If I can find my brush. <sighs> oh my freaking God. Everything is going wrong. Like. Come on, man. I'm going to use this Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray um, before I put my highlight on. And for highlight, I'm going to use the, the Becca Champagne Pop. I hated this highlighter. I only got it because people were like, oh, this is amazing. You need to try it, this, this, and that. But I like, I hate this. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Maybe I will learn to like it, but I do not think so. No, I'm not using it. I hate it. The uh, Diamond Glow Powder from, Ar from Artist Couture, and this is in the shade... This is in Illuminati. This is my second time using this. So yeah, it's not like I'm cheating, but I'm gonna use this instead. It's a nice mirror in here, but yeah. I don't like this Becca Champagne Pop. It's so powdery, like it does not go on smoothly.
For blush, I'm going to use my Tarte Glisten blush. And I do like this blush. It's just like, it's a pinky blush. So I, I like more of the peachy type of blushes. And that's why I don't use this one as much. But it is a nice blush. Um, Tarte has some really good blushes but um i just i'm more of like a peachy girl that's why i don't use this one that much lipstick mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> i have a lot of lipsticks that i do not wear like a lot So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I see all my new subscribers and I just wanna say thank you and welcome to my channel. And um, just keep up that, you know, just keep liking, commenting on my videos and I will be back soon. Bye-bye.